So here we are back at looking at how to render in Archicad version 17 and seeing the result that we get using only lamps. And so here's the finished result. Remember the graininess is just a result of using a low setting to render with. But we're starting to see what we're after. We're seeing a very large contrast between pitch black areas where there is no light and areas that are quite bright or at least well lit from the external lights. The problem is however that this is an interior scene and this is much too dark for what we should be seeing because we don't have any other lights in this space turned on. So let's look at how to cheat and cheating in this situation is not a problem. Think about how movies and TV shows do it. When we have scenes or sets, these scenes or sets are not complete buildings. If I get my explore tool and just move around, you'll see that the building that I'm in is a complete modelled building. If this building was not modelled however, so let's just go back to the view that I'm using, Living 17 Render. Look where I'm cutting off. I can't see my staircase from here and I can only just see the portal frame that's in front of this lounge. Now I'm going to go to my floor plan. There's a lot of layers here. And what I'm going to do is to create a marquee and cut the area, get with a solid marquee I need to add, cut an area which like a, a movie set is all that I'm actually seeing. So I've created the marquee and now I'm going to go back into my 3D view. Show selection in 3D. Can you see much of a difference in the 3D model? Realistically, very, very little change. The outside changed a little bit and you can see a little bit more light in this scene. But apart from that, nothing has changed. I'm going to update this view just so it saves. View settings, get current window settings. And I'm now just going to move back and we see that this model has been dramatically cut. This is not the same building. This is now more like a TV or a movie set. For some reason, I don't know exactly why, um, my, and it's only in version 17, my ability to use the marquee to cut fully is not working. So what I'm going to do is use the 3D setting. So I'm just going to go back to my save view. And now I'm going to go to floor plan. I'm going to remove the marquee. And I'm going to use my cutaway section settings. View 3D elements in 3D view. And I want to have the 3D cutaway. I'm going to say show cutting planes. And now I'm going to select these cutting planes. And I'm going to restrict the area of my 3D model, just like I was doing before. But instead of doing it with um, the marquee, I'm now using the 3D cutting plane because it's a little bit better. Okay. Now I'm gonna choose to show this in 3D. So similarly, this is chopped and you can just see down the bottom right hand corner, there's a slight bit that's cut out. So just to fix this up, I'm just going to move forward just a little bit rather than um, resetting my view. Just so we can't see that anymore. So it's just like in that TV or movie set, we're just moving the camera slightly into the set a bit more so we don't see the edge of what is fake. Great. So now we've got that set up. One thing I'm going to do as well is just change the direction of where my light is coming from. So I'm going to move the sun, turn the sun around so the sun is basically over my shoulder coming into the space a lot more deeply. There we go. Now I haven't placed any more cameras remember I've only got the sun and the sky turned on. Now I'm going to again just like last time 
do a render for that, I'll just again get this, save these settings, document, creative imaging, photo render settings, just to make sure that these settings are still correct, turn my lamps on, and let's do another render, and just like before, I'll stop this video, and let's return with part three to have a look at the quality, and then see what else we can do to make this work better from there.